by the time you're done watching this video whatever fear you have whatever phobia i don't know the names of all these phobias claustrophobia fear of this fear of that it will cease i assure you hi my name is jennifer agumbiadi so i love to talk about my faith with people i like to share bits and pieces of my experiences with god with people i also love to share bits and pieces of my life with people to inspire to educate or you know just to entertain you within your godly boundaries if this is something you would like to be part of if you really enjoy contents like this then do well to subscribe to my channel and join this growing family sadly a lot of people are living in fear i mean like extreme fear phobia of this phobia of height phobia of water phobia of talking to public phobia of standing in the midst of people phobia of being around people phobia of walking in the public the phobias are numerous you just help me list down some of them if you know them in the comment section right that is not God's plan for us. That is not God's plan for his children. God did not create us to live in fear. God did not create us to walk in fear. Okay? Now, but first of all, let us understand fear. What is fear? I'm going to be reading this Google definition, right? It says, an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain, or harm. It describes phobia as an extreme or irrational fear or aversion of something. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, is it not? Like it or not, these things come up in our lives. As we go on about our day-to-day -day living, see, you're going to be afraid. <laughs> I cannot, I'm not here to tell you that you're not going to be afraid. Right? No, I'm here to tell you that you can overcome fear. You can rule over fear. Fear can no longer have power over you you are scared of go taking on this big bold decision you are scared of registering for this next course you know it seems like a normal thing everybody has one fear or the other everybody is afraid of one thing or the other definitely like i mean i was afraid of death like literally every time i go into a cab and i'm traveling my life is usually in my hand like this i'm praying and trusting god that nothing bad happens that i do not get into an accident or one thing shall must happen right so you have something that you're afraid of it's okay. It's okay to be afraid. And it's okay to acknowledge your fear. First of all, I want you to acknowledge that you're afraid of this thing. Find that thing that you think you're afraid of. Acknowledge that fear. I want you to remember this. Any fear or phobia is of the devil. It is the devil's weapon. It is what the enemy uses to steal from the people of God. He uses that to steal your joy, steal your peace, steal your wealth. Steal your goods. Steal your destiny. Fear is a spirit. It's a crippling spirit. What it does is that it cripples you so that you can be pounced on. You know how the Bible describes the enemy as a roaring lion coming, you know, looking for who to devour. Before the lion goes to devour a pack of, not a pack, I don't know if they call them a pack or but she has some cattle. What he does is that he roars. And once he roars, those that have strength will run. Those that are afraid will be crippled. Or those that are sickly will be crippled, right? And they will not be able to proceed. So he now uses, based on that existing fear that they have of the lion, the fear of not being eaten, they are now vulnerable. And then he can pounce on them and eat up their flesh. And that is what the enemy does. He sends fear ahead of himself before he carries out an operation. Now, fear is to the devil what faith is to God. Take, for instance, you need faith, right, in God for God to be able to do some certain things in your life. You know, that channel of faith has to be open. The same thing applies to the devil. The devil needs you to be afraid so that he can bring some things into your life. Now, that's why bad news spreads so quickly. First of all, they'll tell you, Oh, somebody employed so so person and the person died in their hands. Yeah, you're like, oh my god, and you're suddenly afraid. And then the enemy can now come in quickly to bring replicate that same incident in your life. That's what he does. That is why it is important for you to guard your heart. If you have not seen my video on how to guard your heart, link it up here and it's going to be in the description box. Watch it, okay? Like I said already, fear will always come. Okay, this is not going to be a long video. It is very simple. I'm just going to give you this simple key because I even sat down and I was thinking to myself, like, what do I usually do when I am afraid? Like, Holy Spirit was just simple. You know when they say the, the simplicity of the gospel, that is what I'm here to give you today. 
I am here to tell you that you have authority over fame. I am here to tell you that in spite of fear coming or going or whatever it is that he does, you can live above it. You have authority over it, right? God told us in Luke 10, 19, he said, I have given you authority over snakes and scorpions and every ability of the enemy, every power of the enemy. And he said, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. The power of the enemy, the ability of the enemy is fear. Fear is the power of the enemy. Fear is what the enemy uses to come into your life, to bring certain situations into your life, to bring even sickness. You hear that somebody is sick with social disease, cancer, and then suddenly you are afraid. And then boom, I don't know, it should... You would have experienced it. Maybe cancer is like a bit extreme, but you would have heard maybe somebody, they say, hey, somebody's phone broke. And then the next two, three days, your own, it happens to you too. And you're like, ah, I don't know. Maybe you would have seen such things, things like this reoccur in your life. You have authority over fear. Luke 10, 19 is my go-to when it comes to dealing with the devil and dealing with fear. So whenever you have a feeling of fear, whenever you feel afraid and you know that you want to do that thing, Take authority over that spirit. I take authority over the spirit of fear right now in the name of Jesus. And my mind is clear and sharp and I do what I need to do. That is it. That is all you need to do. Very simple. You will tell fear to go and fear will go. And you will do what you need to do. That's it guys for this particular video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys again in another video. Hi, my name is Jennifer Agumbiadi. You're welcome to my channel. Okay, I've already done that. As in, the phobias are no... The phobias... So I'm here to let you know that in spite of fear, not in spite of fear, I'm here to tell you that you can... That's all I'm here to tell you. I hope you stay on to watch another... Uh, I did not introduce myself in this video.